Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while since I have recorded anything because I have been busy with my baby. Um, so I am here with Romy today and I thought I would just film a little video about mixing colors. I'm not really sure where this is gonna go, but I love mixing paint. So I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so first of all, I have Romy with me. So if you hear a baby making noise in the background, I apologize. I'm trying to do this while she naps today. I am working with acrylic paint. I use all different brands of acrylic paint. Um, right now I'm gonna use Liquitex Basics. This is a student grade paint, but it will definitely serve its purpose today just for mixing colors. So I'm going to work strictly with prim primary colors, starting with ultramarine blue. Again, this is basics, ultramarine blue. And then I'm going to use a primary red. And then I'm using a cadmium yellow deep hue. And then we'll also be creating different tints and shades of these colors. So I'm going to put titanium white down. Okay, so I'm going to make a color wheel. This is not going to be an official color wheel by any stretch of the imagination, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to work off of the color wheel. So starting with ultramarine blue in its purest form. So I'm using it straight out of the tube. Get all of that off. Now I'm gonna use my primary red. And yellow. Okay, so those are just straight out of the tube. I haven't done anything to the colors to manipulate them. Next, I'm going to create our secondary colors. Mm -hmm. So we do this just by mixing the primaries together. together. So first we'll do green. I'm gonna do equal parts. Blue, violet, or purple. So I'm using ultramarine and primary red. Next, I'm going to do orange. So we'll do yellow and red. So tough to get equal proportions of both colors. Okay, so that is straight out of the tube. Next, we're going to create different tints of these colors. So I'll do this just by adding white. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go all the way towards the center but if you add white, titanium white to ultramarine blue, it'll give you this lovely opaque shade of blue. Almost always, I mix a little bit of white into whatever color I'm painting with. So I'll add a little bit more and work towards the center. Yeah. 
Same thing, we'll go with red next. You can hear Romy just like cooing in the background. Let's hope she stays just cooing and not crying. Okay, so now I'm yellow with a little bit of white. A little bit more. Lovely. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our secondary colors. So we had, which I just ruined that one, green. With a little bit of white. A little bit more. Beautiful. So I would call this just a beginner's guide to mixing colors. There are 50 million colors that you can make with just the primary colors. Um, so this will not be a completely comprehensive guide, but we'll just call it part one. So now red, ultramarine, blue, and white. Trying to keep all of these values the same on each level. Okay, so now we have the beginning of the color wheel. We have our primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, and our secondary colors, purple, orange, and green. And then we have tints, which that's just adding white to the primary colors of each of our hues. So we have this beautiful color family beginning. So next we're gonna work on tertiary colors. So that's just gonna be the color in between each of these. So we'll start with violet and we're going to lean it towards blue. So this will be blue violet. That looks pretty, maybe a little bit more blue. I'm going to go ahead and make our little color family with that. Mm. Having a little bit of white, a little bit more white. Next, we're going to do red violet. So this one's just gonna lean more red. And then I'm gonna tint this by adding white Thanks, 
my brush. Next, we're going to do red orange. So this will just have, again, more red in it. Not enough. Yeah, I think it needs even more. There we go. And then we will tint that with white. do yellow orange so we'll mix more yellow into it oh I need to rinse my brush actually because I don't want the white in it yet right, so we'll do yellow and orange this one we want it to lean more yellow I could even use a little bit more. And tint it by adding white. Trying to keep the same value, so it's a little bit darker. have the same value as these. And then add more white to it. Good. Alright, so next we're going to fill in that gap between yellow and green. Uh, did not want white in it yet. Tint it by adding white. This is a really good color exercise to do, especially if you're just beginning painting. It really does help to understand color just by doing a basic color wheel. Definitely recommend it. Okay, so we're gonna fill in the gap between the blue and the green. So I'm gonna just use more blue, and a little yes, less yellow. Create a blue-green color. Trying to go halfway in between these two is it's kind of difficult. There. Oh, I think I'm gonna love the different tints of this. Yes, so pretty. And then a little bit more white. Okay, so that is a basic color wheel. It's a little bit messy, but 
Like I said, I think this is a great way to begin. You can start to see how you can create all of these beautiful colors just by using three colors, well four if you count white. Um, so just four paint colors is all you need to create a million beautiful colors when you're painting. So I recommend starting with the primary colors and then just experimenting from there. Um, try filling in the gap between each, each of these. So we'll fill in the gap between each of these then. So ultramarine, tiny bit of red. And then too much. Tiny bit of paint goes such a long way. When you get into the details of these colors, you realize you just don't need a lot to make an impact. Let's try filling in the gap here. So a tiny bit more red. This is a great exercise to do. Even I paint all the time, but I I can learn so much from just going back to the basics and that color is almost exactly the same. I feel like it could use a little bit more a little bit more blue in it. our way back to red. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I find simple exercises like this so fun for my brain just to relax a little bit.
So I'm just going to add a little bit more straight primary red to where I started. Make that a little bit more pronounced. So I'm just working my way around the color wheel and I think that this is just such a valuable exercise to do because going back to the basics is always a good idea and if you're just starting out it can really help you one learn about what colors look good together and two the best way to learn how to paint is by practicing and doing these exercises the same way that you exercise muscles. I believe to get better at color, you need to exercise and train your eyes. So learning what happens when you add white or yellow or mix colors across the color wheel all of those things will just help you in turn be a better artist. And I'm speaking to myself as well. So again, this is just a basic color wheel. I definitely re recommend getting out your paints, painting along. Romy's been so good this whole video. I'm getting nervous that she's going to, well, one, she's been sleeping too much today, so that means we'll probably be up like all night. I'll probably pay for this later. Right now it feels like a treat. gonna increase the size of my primary yellow. So I'm just gonna finish filling in the gaps between the greens.
Naomi is waking up. We're running out of time. gonna darken up our ultramarine not darken we're gonna make it a little bit bigger Okay, so I think we're done. So you can always go back once you finish it, go back and make adjustments around it. If you see areas that are, there's too big of a jump, go back and add a little bit more. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it helps you when you're mixing colors. This is just the first installment of many color mixing videos. So be sure to hit subscribe so that you can know when we upload our next video.